everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing something that I've seen a lot of people already that are in my program that have done and I've seen a few so I really wanted to do this so it is the DCP tag even though we're in the CEP program pretty much the same thing same questions nothing it's not really different um, the DCP da -da -da -da. The DC, can I speak today? Oh my God. The DCP program is the one that um, American college students do. The CEP program is the cultural exchange program that um, Canadians, um, Australians, New Zealand, Mexico, Mex Mexico, um, Pretty much everyone who's not in the states can participate in the CEP cultural exchange program. So today I will be answering the DCP slash CEP slash ICP as it was international college program. Um, so I'll be answering those questions for you guys. There's a list of about 10 I think different things. So let's just jump right into it. So the first one is, how did you hear about the program? So for me, I heard about the program back when I was in about grade nine, I believe. Um, I was just going online and I stumbled upon the Disney College program website, the actual site that explains it, where you apply. So ever since I've been in grade nine, I've known about this program. So it is actually something that I've always wanted to do. So it's been about six years since I've heard about this program to the time I'm now doing the program, which I'm super excited about. The next question was, how was the interview process? So it wasn't too bad for me. So my interview, like if you watch my previous video, which I will tab to the corner, it, I actually go into a lot of depth about my interview and how it went. And since it was later in the day interview, kind of how I passed the time and how things went with that. So I'm going to link the video up in the corner. I think it's that corner. I think I'm posting the wrong corner. In one of these two corners, whatever one it is, um, I will be linking the video to that as well as in the description. So you guys can check that video out just straight about um, my interview. This one I'm excited about. So the next question is, where were you when you found out you got accepted? This is probably one of the best things that I can ever say. I was actually in Walt Disney World when I heard that I got accepted. Specifically, I was sitting in the seats waiting to watch the Voyage of the Little Mermaid stage show. The Little Mermaid has always been my favorite princess, so I thought this was absolutely amazing and magical that I heard back, um, well, that I heard that I got accepted for the program when I was there waiting for that show. It was kind of funny because I checked my email before we went in when we were in the first room where you see all of the gadgets and gizmos that Ariel has say in her undersea grotto, um, kind of all the boat stuff, the netting, um, the suit. So it's just that pre-room before you get into the actual theater. So I checked and there was no email, but then as soon as I got into the theater, this was at 9.29, don't ask me how I remember the time. It was just, I so happened to see at that time. And then I checked my email and lo and behold, I got accepted into the program. My email came in at 9.21. I didn't see it until 9.29 and the show started at 9.30. So I didn't have much time to freak out um, about that because it was kind of see email. Okay, now I have to watch the show. Um, and being that Little Mermaid is my favorite princess movie. Ariel is my favorite princess. I found that was one of the most magical things 
that could have probably ever happened because it was specifically for that there that I got accepted. So, yay. So the next question is what is your role? And then also it says preferred roles. So I actually got extremely lucky and I got my top role that I wanted, which was attractions. The main reason why I wanted attraction was because I'm actually in mechanical engineering. That's my program. And when I graduate school, I want to be able to work and build and design the rides and roller coasters for Walt Disney World and Disneyland and all the parks, essentially. So for me to get attractions, this helps me be able to be... <coughs> Sorry, let me start that. Let me restart that. So for me being in attractions, this is absolutely amazing because I get to be around the rides. I get to be able to see the mechanics of the rides. I get to be able to operate the rides. So that for me is a big part, as well as you get an extremely high guest interaction. So you get to see the guests all the time. You get to make them smile and laugh and just help them and make their experience at Walt Disney World one of the most magical. you find your roommate, Sash? How many do you want? So I don't exactly have any roommates right now. Um, we again, we're only, we're about two months away from arrival date or actually less than two months as of today when I'm filming this. So we are less than two months away from arrival. I don't have any roommates yet. Um, I would like to maybe have one before, like I would like to know one before I get there ahead of time. Um, talk to them for a bit before, um, but roommate number wise, between four to five, including me. Well, including me, I would like to be in a six person room. Next question is, what are you going to miss while being in the program? What am I going to miss? I think of the thing that I'm most going to miss is my family and friends. Um, last summer I was up at school away from them so I didn't really get to spend that much time with them last summer. I got to spend pretty much um, a month, month and a half which is pretty much what I'm going to be about the same this summer but um, one big thing that I think I'm going to miss is not being with my family on my birthday. I've been with them every single year. Um, even including last year, I was up at school for my birthday, but I came down that weekend before and my dad actually spent the night up with me. So, um, I actually still have family with me on my actual birthday. So that's a big thing for me. Being with family on my birthday is, has always been a big thing. I've never really been away from them. So this is the first year that I will be completely away from any family or any like main really close friends on my birthday so that's gonna be something that's gonna be a bit different and that's something that i'm for sure gonna miss is being able to spend especially my 20th it's a big one um being able to spend a really important birthday with them so that's one thing i'm definitely gonna miss while on the program four more questions almost there um what is your what's your favorite disney park <sighs> That's a tough one. There's, I love them all. All the parks, they all have something unique in them that I absolutely love. <sighs> I think right now, because I did just get back from Disney a few weeks ago, I want to say Magic Kingdom is probably my favorite. Um, for the longest time, my favorite park was Hollywood Studios. And the only reason why I'm not saying Hollywood Studios right now is because when I went there was a lot of construction going on. There wasn't that many rides. It was pretty crowded um, and it was mostly shows. So there wasn't um, too much to do there. But that may change because this summer they are opening Toy Story Land. So I'm really excited to be there for that this summer for the opening of Toy Story Land. And it's gonna be incredible that I'm going to be in the parks for that. 
um, but I think as of right now I'm gonna say Magic Kingdom is my favorite park just because there's so much to do, there's so much to see, so much to hear, so much to eat. It's endless. There's an endless amount of things that you can do there and you can literally spend the entire day or you can spend literally just one full week just a Magic Kingdom to try to accomplish everything that you really want to do. So I think as of now, Magic Kingdom, I'm going to say is my favorite part. Next question is, what's the first thing you want to do when you get there? Huh. I think the first thing that I want to do when I get down from my program is to be able to meet new people. Um, hopefully there's um, a few housing events within the week that I arrive. So I definitely want to be able to do that. I definitely want to go to downtown Disney. Disney Springs as it's called now. Still going to be downtown Disney to me. Um, I did go last time that I was there. But we didn't spend too long. And we pretty much went in, went to World of Disney, went to Goofy's Candy Company, went to the art store, went to the Christmas store. Um, got supper and left so it wasn't really it was a quick kind of in and out at Disney Springs so I want to really be able to walk around take my time see all the new stores and really be able to see the differences that they made um, in there and hopefully be able to find some really cool souvenirs that maybe I would never have thought of What's getting before? the number one thing on your bucket list well I don't know if I should tell you guys now. You know what? I'm not going to tell you now because I am actually going to be making a Disney CEP bucket list video itself. So you guys are just going to have to wait to see what's on my bucket list, what's on my full bucket list. And it is a long one. So you'll have to see what's on the top, I guess. For that so that's a you have to wait to see unfortunately very last question in this dcp icp cep tag is what is one thing you hope to take away from the program there's so many things i think the main thing i want to be able to take away from the program is to be able to interact with so many more people than i normally do and be able to learn so many things from so many different cultures. I think that's one thing that I'm really excited to do when I'm down there is to be able to meet people from all around the world and hear about their culture and everything that is them from their country and their experiences there. So that's one thing I really want to take away as well as be able to continue making the magic when I get back home. I want to be able to spread that magic with everyone here, back in my school, back in my town, um, back with my family, my friends. I want to really be able to continue spreading that magic and continue spreading the magic with so you that guys. was the Disney CEP, DCP, ICP tag. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned because I will be making lots more videos about my program, about the process. If you guys have any recommendations or suggestions that you would like to see, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. I really hope you guys continue to enjoy my content, well, to enjoy my journey as I go through this program and be able to see everything unfold as it occurs for me. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you guys have a magical day slash night. I'm filming this at night. So just have a magical time wherever you guys are. Bye.